What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. And in this video, I want to talk about how important the Ravenclaw companion could be. And I felt like this was a good opportunity, and in this video, it'll be a good opportunity to kind of go through some theories I've seen other people bring up. Also, talk about what I think of why have they not, you know, shown the person? Does that make them more special or less special? So, we're going to cover a couple different things um, in this video. So, the first thing I do want to talk about that importance level. That is a big topic of debate that a lot of people are saying well maybe because they haven't shown the individual yet right that maybe they have some more importance to the story now i talked about this with andy andy reloads on the live stream we did a little while back where i i've pretty much settled on i don't agree with that theory now you could have whatever theory you want that's totally cool i you know i appreciate it and i want as many theories going around the internet as possible but i do think because this is a just a, a fourth companion right you have all the other three this is the fourth i do think they're going to be like main elements in the story right their their stories are going to kind of intertwine with the main story but also they're going to just be a part of the main story of this game but i don't think one is more important than the other but i just don't think that any one of these four are going to be more important than the other one does that make sense i do think they're all going to give you something unique we've kind of talked about that before right it seems like sebastian when you beat his stuff maybe he gives you all of the unforgivable curses maybe he just gives you one but you know you can play around with it and all four of them are going to do that so in the same way that i'm saying you know they can't be more important or less important than each other that's that's important because they're gonna give you things and remember we've talked about it where you don't have to do their their things so whatever they give you cannot be monumentally important because you can skip over it uh, now i do think they're going to introduce all four as you have to do like the first mission of each one and maybe they'll teach you something during that and then if you keep going if you keep doing their missions they'll give you more stuff that's kind of been my running theory i'm going to probably stick by that at least for right now um but i think that just further illustrates my point that they're not you know the ravenclaw companion the reason the person is hidden is not because they are more powerful uh, or more important to the story let's say than any of the the other three i also think just to kind of put this to bed or to talk about it you know there was a time we talked about like two companions from each house now i do think there'll be other people you can talk to like flat out there'll also be other people you can probably bring on missions with you we, we see professor fig right we know there's going to be people that can join you besides the four students but i do think the days of you know my the i actually said this like years ago maybe like two people two students per house and you and those are your kind of your big side characters you do missions for them it seems like it's just one i know there are still people out there that think there's two per each and that they're only showing three out of eight then instead of three out of four um but i just really don't think so i really think there's only gonna be these four that are this in detail this this depth right i don't think there's gonna be any others that are gonna be um as in depth as these four and i do get by the way the importance thing like me like why people think the ravenclaw companion could be more important because it's like well if there is four and you show three out of four why would you do that right and i've i've questioned that too why in god's name would you do that because you would think like all right well if they're hiding if they're if they're trying to say well we don't want to give the the community too much we'll just show them half we'll show them two out of four well they haven't done that they did three out of so they're so close to showing all of them that they do kind of put themselves in a corner where they do come off like they're hiding one specifically they're hiding that ravenclaw one on purpose now i would argue they could have done this with sebastian and sebastian could have been that fourth person and it wouldn't have mattered you know it doesn't change anything so that's you know that's kind of putting to bed those two things um that i have seen now one interesting thing uh james from expecto go he was tweeting this uh, maybe a week or so ago and i had always thought this i've never spoken up about this but i did notice this before he had noticed it on twitter and and i think a lot of other people maybe notice it as well if you go back to the very first trailer september of 2020 that we have of this game we can see we actually see natsai right you see her and you see a, a male student 
who looks older. He doesn't look... Ne- well, I mean, and yet again, it's two years ago. You can't necessarily tell the age, but he does look noticeably older than everybody else. And he has a, the Ravenclaw, you know, outfit, the robe. And you see him in a couple different scenes. And I had tweeted to James and I had said, you know, I had always like lightly assumed that could be the Ravenclaw. My, my opinion of it right now is that that person was either a, the, a, the character, like the actual character that we play as, and it was just a different build of the character, or it was the Ravenclaw student. And it really could go either way. The only thing you can tell, like uh, the, the difference, I guess, right, is the age. But it's like, again, like the character models, and it's been two years, and all of them look so much better now then they, if you go back, you know, and obviously I play the, the trailers for in these videos. I mean, they don't look nearly as good, as detailed as they look now. So the age thing could be misleading, right? But there's some interesting scenes too, right? Like he's battling the the, the dark wizard or whatever that thing is with the, with the mask on that they've never gone back to, right? And that's always been a theory of, you know, is that kind of like a, a mystery uh, faction group? Is that, is their leader the real villain of Hogwarts Legacy? It's definitely possible. But that Ravenclaw student is the one fighting uh, them, I do believe. So, um, you know what I mean? Like they, they could have put all of this in and it, it would be actually really funny if they said, well, you know, you did see, you have seen the fourth student. You have seen the fourth companion because it was in that trailer. And it's like, all right, well, then that's that, that's the character. So to me, it can only go one of those two ways. Either that person in that very first trailer, the couple scenes we see, either they're us and we picked Ravenclaw as the house or they're the Ravenclaw companion. Because otherwise, you really wouldn't have shown, you know, that character that specifically um, that many times in the trailer. There is a theory going around that they're like the Malfoy equivalent, like they're kind of the evil. But honestly, in my opinion, that's probably Sebastian if it's anybody. Um, I like the theory. I like the theory that one of the four companions kind of is like, a, well, I, like, I want to say anti-hero and kind of like has that dark side. But again, like I feel like I'm, I'm describing Sebastian. So I like the theory, but I honestly don't think that would apply to the Ravenclaw student. Um, but I do like the idea of one of the students kind of being, you know, on edge, maybe kind of leading you to the dark side. Yet again, final time that most likely, and it's like, yes, because he's Slytherin, like, I guess that's part of it. But honestly, not to pick on Slytherin too much, but you also look at the trailer and look at what we've seen of Sebastian. He does seem like the one, I mean, he's going to teach you the dark spells. You're going to be probably breaking the most rules and doing the most like gray area things with him so it would make more sense for him to be that kind of stereotype not even not even stereotype is probably too mean because i love malfoy and that's a great character but you know what i mean that's probably sebastian so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on and i hope to see you all on the next one